Let's begin lying on your back with the knees bent and let's place the feet at the edges of your mat. Allow one hand to come to the heart and one hand to come to your belly. Just begin to feel the rise and fall of your chest and your belly as you breathe. We begin today's practice with a box breathing technique. So we begin with a four count inhale, hold for a four count, exhale, four count, and then hold on the out breath for another four count. So wherever you're at, inhaling one, two, three, four, holding one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold on the out breath, one, two, three, four. Just continuing this for about another minute. Your mind is fully focused on breathing in this way, feeling the breath move in and out of the chest, the belly, fully focused on timing your breath. We'll slowly begin to let go of the box breathing. Just coming back to a natural breath here. In through the nose and out through the nose. Draw left knee into your chest. Interlace the hands on top of the knee. Begin to circle the knee, moving in one direction. And then switching that direction of movement. Bring the knee to center and then draw left knee all the way over to the right side, coming into supine twist. Your gaze follows over towards your left, left arm reaches out to your side. Release onto your back and then draw right knee into your chest give it a squeeze and begin to move it in that same circular motion maybe you notice how this posture this movement feels on your low back it looks like you're giving yourself a little massage here when you're ready draw right leg all the way over towards the left supine twist on this side Gaze follows over towards the right, right arm reaching out towards the side. Maybe lifting your knee a little bit higher into your chest, pressing it down towards the earth. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, sit all the way up to a seated position. Inhale, exhale, forward fold over both legs. Hands might grasp the ankles, maybe the feet behind the knees. And the chin just drops into your chest.
Inhale, rise. Place your hands behind you with the fingertips pointing towards your toes. Inhale, lift the hips high, finding reverse plank. Neck is one long extension of your spine, making sure you're not dropping it back. Inhale, lift just a little higher. And exhale, come on down. Take the right foot into the inner left thigh. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Drawing forehead towards the knee. Hands can grasp the foot or just relax alongside of the leg. Maybe you'd like to reach the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Inhale, rise. Bend right knee, interlace the hands around the right foot, and then slowly straighten the leg. Grasp the outside of the right foot with the left hand, and then reach the right arm behind you. Twisting open towards the right side of your mat. If you can bring the arms parallel with the earth. Bend the knee and switch out the legs. This time left foot comes to the inside of right inner thigh. Exhale, draw the forehead towards your knee, folding over. Option to reach that left hand to the outside of the right foot, deepening the stretch through the low back. Breathing here. Breath is natural, smooth, and deep. Inhale, rise. Bend left knee. Place the hands around the foot. Clasp the right hand on the outside of the left foot. Reach the left hand out behind you. Gaze follows. It's okay to have a bend in that extended leg if you need. Exhale, release. Lower down onto your back. Draw the left leg into the chest. Finding asymmetrical happy baby. Bend the left knee. Reach the left hand up and allow it to clasp the outside of the foot. Drawing the leg in towards the armpit. Coming back to your breath in this moment. Let's draw right leg up into that happy baby position. The right hand grasp the outside of the right foot. We need a full expression happy baby here. Keep your low back planted on the earth. You find a wiggle side to side. Slowly release left leg down, finding asymmetrical happy baby on the right side. Release the right foot. Place the feet onto the mat with the knees bent. And then draw the knees in towards the chest, preparing for shoulder stand. Place the hands right at the low back with the elbows bent to support you. And then slowly lift the legs up. You might have to adjust the arms a couple times just to find your perfect positioning here. Taking your time to find a position that you feel fully supported in. We'll slowly make our way into plow pose by lowering the feet up and overhead. Make sure you're protecting the neck by keeping the gaze forward. Maybe the toes come all the way down to the ground. Maybe they hover a few inches above. 
finding whatever variation is most comfortable for you. Inhale, reach up the right leg, keeping the left leg down. And then inhale, reach left leg up as you lower right leg down. You want to find a little bit of playfulness here. Exhale, bend the knees into the forehead and then slowly roll down. We're going to rock and roll forward, coming into tabletop position. With an inhale, drop the belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone. Continue this movement into cat pose and cow pose. It's really taking this time to feel the length of your spine. Feel this nice, gentle stretch. Extend right leg out long. Bend the knee. And then begin to link this move with cat cow. We inhale, lift the foot, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, contract. Knee to nose. Continuing this movement. You know, a little extra challenge to your balance here. The leg lifted. And then working your core as you contract. Extend the leg out long. Reach left arm long. Find your balance. It can be helpful to curl the toes of the left foot for extra help with balance. If you'd like, begin to find a bind by bending right knee and then reaching left arm out behind you trying to clasp the foot. Finding an unmoving focal point to help with your balance. Exhale, send the hand forward, send the foot behind you. And then cross right leg behind the left, coming into shoelace pose. Stack the knees on top of each other, and just the feet so that they stick out on either side of you. Inhale with the arms, and then exhale, fold over the legs. Taking a moment here, see if you can enter a short meditation in this pose. Noticing your breath. Noticing how it feels in your body to hold this pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, let's cross the right arm under the left for eagle arms. Send the arms out and away. Finding that perfect stretch in your upper back. Release the arms. Find tabletop position. Reset with a cat cow. Drop the belly. Lift the spine. Come to neutral spine and then extend left leg out long. Exhale, draw it knee to nose. Inhale, lift the gaze. As you lift the foot, arch the belly downward. Moving through cat cow and then adding this element with the left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, contract. Round the spine. Knee to nose. Extend left leg out behind you. Now extend right leg out in front of you. Find your balance. Option always curl the toes of the right foot for extra help here. And if you'd like, begin to bend the left leg Reach around with the right arm, finding a bind. Exhale, send the arm out in front of you, leg out behind you. Cross left leg behind the right knee, and then sink the hips back, finding shoelace pose on the other side. Reach arms up high. Exhale, fold forward. Sinking into your space here for a few moments, enjoying this pose.
gently inhale, sit up. Cross the left arm under the right for eagle arms. Send the arms out and away. Bring them up and away from you to find that perfect stretch in your upper back. Exhale, unwind. And cross the legs. And let's step left foot forward, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, raise the arms high. Bend right elbow. And take the left hand to draw the shoulder down your back. If you'd like to take this deeper, you can create a bind by reaching the hands behind your back. Left arm comes down and around. Right arm comes up. are heavy here, bringing them down towards the floor. Hands frame the front feet, come to plank, and then step right foot forward. Inhale, reach the arms, bend left elbow, right arm, stretches the opposite elbow here. Otherwise, finding the opposite stretch is a little bit more challenging. Left elbow continues to reach down the upper back. And then right arm reaches from the bottom of the back up, clasping the hands. Hands frame front foot. We'll slowly make our way to a seated position here. Comfortable meditation posture. You know, legs are crossed. You could also be kneeling here. Place the hands on top of the knees and begin to rotate the shoulders up and down. Changing that direction of movement. Rotating the other way with the shoulders. And begin to rotating the neck back and forth, side to side. Maybe all the way around if that feels good. I'm going to finish today's practice with a short meditation. It's comfortable and the eyes are closed and the keys is low to the floor. And just begin to connect with the rise and fall in your chest as you breathe. Feeling yourself expanding as you inhale and contracting as you exhale. Feel yourself sitting upright in this seated posture and completely relaxed. When you're inhaling, you're fully aware that you are inhaling. And when you're exhaling, you're fully aware that you are exhaling. Taking a few moments at the end of our practice just to fully ground in the present moment. Following the breath as it enters and exits your body. As the mind wanders, just gently nudging yourself back to your breath, back to any sensations that you feel as you breathe. Maybe you feel the breath in your nostrils, your throat, your chest, your belly. And just use that focal point, that place where you feel the breath the most, to place your attention. I wanted to take the end of today's practice to share a story that's been really impactful in my own life. Many of you may have heard it before. It's the story of the Taoist farmer. The story begins with a farmer who works in the fields all day long and uses his horse to help him with his chores. 
One day the horse runs away. His neighbor comes by and tells him, what bad luck you have. The farmer simply replies with, well, maybe. The next day, the horse returns with three other wild horses. What good fortune you have, the neighbor replies. Maybe, answers the farmer. The next day, the farmer's son was thrown from one of the wild horses and breaks his leg. The neighbor comes by again and offers his sympathy for this misfortune. But the farmer again replies, maybe. One day, the military comes to draft the young men for war. The farmer's son was spared because of his broken leg. Once again, the neighbor comes by to congratulate him for his good luck. And the farmer simply replies, maybe. Maybe there is an instance in your own life when you initially thought that something happened was a bad thing, but then it turned out to be something good. The story teaches us to loosen our judgment so that we can find more grace in the uncertainty of life, instead of stressing the small things. We really never truly know whether something that's going to happen is going to lead to something even more amazing, more incredible. We just have to trust in this wonderful and divine unfolding of our lives. Inhale, raise the arms high, and then exhale, draw the hands to the forehead, bowing. Namaste.